We are. We're just watching the vultures because they're quite entertaining this morning. They're quite active. They're flying in and out and they're trying their best to go and get closer and closer towards that carcass. But Tinio is having none of it at this stage. So it's nice just to watch them flying about and seeing them. It's, you know, we don't get to see the vultures in large numbers like this very often in the last few months. So it's always good just to watch them and to see how they go about their business. They're such funny animals, particularly when they're down on the ground and they're starting to try and scavenge and get food. Oopsie. That one taking off is just <laughs> the other one. There was almost a colossal disaster there as that one took off. And the Birmingham boys, though, Tinio still feeding. Nana still just relaxing nearby. And then our two boys on this side, Mfumo and Suko, are fat and tired. There's no sign of them moving whatsoever. And Suko lifts his head up every now and then just to watch the vultures flying around. But otherwise is completely in a state of recline. Mfumo, on the other hand, looks like a beach ball at the moment. It's quite funny to watch him on the road. He's got this massive, 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 massive tummy, and it almost looks as though he's going to be able to roll around rather than walk. Look at the size of that stomach. You can see, so in Suko in front, you don't see the same bulge, but look at in Fumo's tummy, how big it looks when he lies down. It really is like a big beach ball that has been distended and shoved in there. It's crazy. <laughs> That's about as fat a male lion as you're ever going to see, and also about as sleepy a male lion. So he's got a lot of water in there, he's got food, and that is a face of absolute content. And I suppose on a Sunday morning, there's no better way than to have a good meal and then lie down and sleep in. And particularly in weather like this, it's cloudy, it's perfect bed weather to take it easy. That is the Birmingham boys. Now, what I think we might do is actually start moving around a little bit and and try and actually go and see what else there is around we've had such a quality time with the Birmingham boys and Byron's a time with them this morning so I might go and just explore a little bit see if there isn't something else lurking while we've kind of been sitting around here but Douglas you're wondering if um, lions will sweat or if they only pant um, Douglas, they only pant, really. They they don't have sweat glands, and that's why they have to pant so much. So they're going to be... I'm sure these Birminghams are very thankful for the fact that we've had very overcast, cold conditions over the last two days because if it had been hot, these guys would have been suffering. They would not have been in a good place at all. They would have been hot and tired and lots of panting going on. You can see they've got quite a quick breathing pattern as it is, but they're not getting as much heat because the lack of sunshine means that they're actually... So you can see they're quite a fast breathing paint, but the lack of sunshine means they don't actually have to pant too much. So they're not excessively hot. They're just breathing quickly because of the lack of space for the lungs to expand fully as they normally would. Tongue is even out. That is deep sleep that we're seeing right there. Nsuku, are you tired, boy? I suppose your brothers have been keeping you awake all night last night. It was interesting also, we came and spent some time, Byron and myself and Megan, we came and spent some time with them after drive and after dinner, and we sat with them until about half past nine. And it was interesting to watch. It was Tinua that would instigate the roaring every time. So he would walk up to the carcass and he would start to make these calls and then start roaring and then the rest would follow. So I may imagine that Insuk was tired because he had to kind of keep up with the rest of the coalition members and make lots of noise. He was flat, flat, flat. The whole time we were here, he didn't wake up. The, all three of the others were up and moving around, but he just lay sleeping the whole time. And I suppose he's nursing a bit of an injury, so maybe that's why he's just spending time recovering. And this buffalo carcass is the ideal thing for a injured male lion because as soon as he gets a bit of rest, he's getting nutrients, he's not having to move around too much, it's perfect to allow him to recover. Now, Barbara, you're wondering how his injury is. Well, last... Yesterday afternoon I saw him walking and he was walking with no discomfort whatsoever. There wasn't a limp or anything like that. So I'm sure he's fine. He's not in any way battling to breathe or anything like that. So there's no damage to any of the internal organs that we can see. So I think he's absolutely fine. He looks healthy and, and he looks as though he's in no discomfort whatsoever. So he is walking all right. But this carcass is the absolute godsend for a male lion when he's injured because like i say he doesn't have to move around too much he's got nutrients so as his body's fighting the infections and trying to heal he's getting the nutrients to be able to keep himself in good condition so it was a good thing for insuku although it might have happened due to this hunt you never know right well i think like i say we're going to leave our sleepy boys to themselves and